And now to a story that'll make you feel good today about three women who are revolutionizing the beauty industry. Well, they've even caught the attention of some A-list celebs, and you're going to meet the ladies in a moment. But first, take a look at their incredible story. The journey for me started when I was 10 years old. Me and my sister, we are immigrants from Nigeria. When we first got to the United States, we started getting bullied for the texture of our hair. For Isokin Igbenadian, it was the beginning of a complicated relationship with her hair. I remember the day I'd gone into class. I was sitting in the front row, and then the girl next to me started pulling on my hair and saying, why does your hair look like that? It's so weird. And so that day, I ran to my mom. I asked her to chemically straighten my hair. I wanted to really look like all the girls in my class. And she starts putting it in my hair. And so I start to feel like the burning sensation. But I'm thinking, oh, it's OK. This is the process to get the straight look that I really want to look like. And then she starts to wash my hair out. And at first, I'm thinking, oh my god, I can feel how soft and silky my hair is. And then I start to slowly run my hands down my hair, and I start to see chunks of hair falling out. Hair is such a huge part of your identity, right? And so I felt like I lost who I was at that moment. After graduating with a degree in business administration, Isokin embarked on a successful career in the tech industry, but yearned to find a way to use her knowledge of artificial intelligence to make a bigger impact. I didn't see any projects that I could work on where AOI was improving the lives of my community, of women and people of color who often have really poor product and service outcomes. And so we're just over it as women who wear wigs and extensions. We wanted a better solution. That's really where Parfait was born. To make her dream of using AI to create high quality custom fitting wigs a reality, Isokin turned to her younger sister, Afueko, a computer science expert. Iso has really been my partner in crime my entire life. You know, she was the one who taught me to put on makeup when I was in middle school, you know. So I immediately said, of course, like, let's write some code. And so we kind of went through that process. Like, I am a customer going online to buy a wig. What would make this easier? To get their idea into the hands of real customers, Isokin asked her friend and fellow warden classmate, Simone Kendall, to join the team. We had a conversation on a Thursday. On a Tuesday, I was in a pitch, and we just have been, you know, rolling ever since. The app they designed simplifies the complex process of creating made-to-order wigs for individual customers. It just takes four pictures, and then within seven to nine business days, you'll get a fully custom bespoke wig delivered to your door. When word of their business got out, Serena Williams and Kelly Rowland wanted in, becoming early investors in the startup. Our wigs are truly for everyone because we're building every single one to the person. And so it's for anyone who needs a wig because you're suffering from hair loss. If you have the unfortunate event of going through a cancer or a medical reason and needing that wig, we have a lot of women that come to us for alopecia. We'll look at your exact photos and make sure that you have a wig that looks like you when you go out into the world. And that's a big deal, right? The women that are going through wearing wigs never want anyone to know they're wearing a wig. But it's even more crucial for women who didn't choose to wear a wig. Parfait for me means freedom, simply the freedom to be whoever you want to be every single day. Oh, Iso, Ifueko, Simone <laughs> joining us now. When you think about what you've accomplished in this moment, how do you reflect on that? Yeah, I really think more about just the impact I've been able to have to the customers who've been able to reach out to us, who've told us, like, we really have given them a product that has really changed their lives. Mm -hmm. It's really, really a difficult experience when you have some sort of hair loss. And so wigs and extensions are just a form and a way to express yourself, mm -hmm. your inner confidence mm -hmm. and your inner beauty. And so we get just so many customer reviews that say, oh my gosh, my wig is sitting with me in first class. <laughs> yes, oh, yes. And just the joy that it brings to the yeah. women who use these products, we're just wow. so grateful. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fueco, I think one of the things that's most meaningful is that you get to do this with your sister. Mm -hmm. You guys have known each other since you were the little girls who, who, who said, like, I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm yeah. not going to stand for this. What does it feel like to get to do it with these women you love so much? I mean, it's just a dream come true. And also to be able to use something that I've studied for so long yeah. to just make a difference in people's lives and working together with my sister to really make dreams come true. I think it's truly an unbelievable experience. Did you ever imagine that 
computer science totally. would come into play <laughs> in making wigs? Never. I mean, I think there's a lot of fear around tech. And yeah. when there are good people making really good algorithms that support people's problems and their experiences, we can really make tech such a positive thing. And that's what I love about Parfait. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Simone, I, you, you ended the piece saying something that was so awesome, which is Parfait is freedom. Yeah. It's choice. Absolutely. Yes, it's absolutely. giving women choice that maybe haven't had it before. Yep. Mm -hmm. What does it feel like to be part of that? It's incredible. I think for all women, you know, our hair is extremely intimate, but public at the same time. Mm -hmm. And so it's something that we walk into every room, every interaction with, and it's really a part of who we are. Did y'all freak out when Serena Williams oh, and like Kelly, Kelly Rowland are like, <laughs> like, like, lost for life? What? We, lost were, we didn't believe it for a while. <laughs> yeah. We didn't think it was real. Yeah. We thought incredible. someone had like put um, a bum on her. <laughs> Like, come on. By the way, just real quick, yeah. price point, because I think people are going to yeah. watch it and go, can I get it? Can yeah. I get it? What's the price yeah, point? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So we start around three fifty five, yeah. and there's different types of wigs. You can get a wig that really is just adding to your natural hair, where your natural hair is out, and yeah. you add it sort of around. Yeah. We have wigs that go from lace from here to here. Yeah. Um, those are super easy to use. And then mm -hmm. we have the lace that's like a full, you know, a 360 yeah. Yeah. Okay. event. <laughs> um, so it ranges okay. from there. But three fifty five, you'll get started. Start. And yeah. that's a great, cool. great wig for it. Right. Okay, awesome, you guys. And, and these amazing ladies are sticking around. We're going to help one young woman out with a new look. We're going to get to see it for the first time and hear her incredible story, too. And we're back with the three founders of the new wig company. It's called Parfait, Iso, Ifuko, and Simone. They're all with us. Yeah, and these women created a business that makes ordering a custom wig easier, and they wanted to use their expertise for someone really special. Well, that's where 20-year-old Kenna Steven comes in. Let's take a look at her amazing story. I was diagnosed with alopecia when I was two years old, but then miraculously before kindergarten, my hair did grow back and that was kind of the first time I ever really did develop a relationship with my hair or realize that there was something missing in the first place. By the seventh grade, Kenna Steven had started to lose her hair again. My hair started falling out pretty quickly, which was super, super stressful for me. I feel like that was probably the worst time of my life. Middle schoolers are not the nicest people in the world. And so I would get comments about like, why doesn't your hair grow? And I was just so, so scared all the time that people would see my patches and they would know that my hair was falling out. So that summer, the day before camp, Kenna decided to shave her head. I wanted to go swimming. I wanted to go parasailing. I wanted to do all these fun things that all the other kids were doing. But I just think I reached a sort of breaking point where I knew I didn't want to keep living like I had something to hide. My dad was the one who shaved my head. And I think we were all crying. The next morning, Kenna's parents dropped her off for camp. I just took a deep breath and I got on the bus and I really feel like I was so scared to be surrounded, you know, in this den of middle schoolers, but it ended up being amazing. Everybody was so supportive. From that point on, Kenna embraced her natural look and the possibilities it created. I really grew to love it and it became something I realized I could have a lot of fun with. And I started wearing wigs and I wore my bandanas and I would draw on my head and I realized I could really use it as like a tool of self-expression. Growing up, Kenna was part of a program called Hair Club for Kids that provided free real hair wigs. It's super awesome. Wigs are so expensive. So to get them for free, I mean, we never could have afforded to do that if it wasn't for the program. I could say, okay, this month I wanted to be like a redhead. You know, this month I want to be a brunette. And so I loved that in high school, but unfortunately you do age out once you're 18. The now 20-year-old is heading into her junior year of college, comfortable in her own skin. Alopecia has made me more confident. And I would tell young Kenna, you're not beautiful in spite of alopecia. You're beautiful with it, and our differences make us more beautiful. We agree. So we had a little something special in store for Kenna. Hi, Kenna. Okay, we heard all about you. We are so inspired by your confidence and by your resilience. Okay, wait, hold up. Don't you think we should meet her? Yes! Okay, okay, we got an idea. How about this? Why don't you come to New York? Why don't you join us? Why don't you bring your mom, Heather, yeah, too? Yeah, bring your mom. Okay, but that's not all. We heard you have your first internship starting soon, and you're interested in completing your look with a new wig. So get this. Uh -huh. The folks at Parfait heard your story, and they're going to create a custom wig just for you. How cool is that? So are we actually going to go to New York? You're kidding me. What? Did you know about this? I did. Oh, my gosh. I'm so grateful. And we yes. are so 
grateful because we are joined by Kenna's mom, Heather, and her dad. We invited you too, Eddie, and they haven't seen <laughs> Kenna's new look yet. But yeah. you guys raised a remarkable, beautiful daughter. I mean, you did everything right. What? How incredible. What do you think it is about her that gives her that kind of awesome confidence? Kenna's always been herself. So she's comfortable with who she is. And I think when you know who you are, like she said in the video with or without hair, totally. she's the same person. So she gets to be who she is regardless of what that looks like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think, you know, what we love about her, and this is what you all helped, is she can be anyway and knows that her hair doesn't define her. Right. But still, the fact that wigs are so expensive yeah. and these lovely women have come up with a solution. And um, you guys haven't seen her yet with her with We her haven't. Women. Shall we? Okay. Let's. I think we shall. All right. Okay. Come on out, Kenna. That looks amazing. Wow. Kenna, what do you think? Oh, oh my gosh, I love it. I feel like a different person. I feel so glam. This is yeah. crazy. Oh my god. So tell us a little bit about what you yeah. what you did. Yeah, so our AI captures the key measurements to make the perfect yeah. wig. So the circumference of your head, yeah. color palettes of your skin tone. So and so beautiful. we gave her an opportunity to choose the wig of her dream. She decided she really wanted to have like a blonde balayage look. And yeah. so love it. after capturing your measurements, we custom created her wig and it took us 15 minutes to put on in style for her. That was yeah, it? That was it. Yeah, you believe girl. That? <laughs> By the way, we think you're remarkable. We we're do. happy that you have the most beautiful wig in the world, but you're a remarkable human being. Wow. <laughs> we're we're yes, just so with in or awe. Without the, yes. With or without the wig, you're a true, true beauty. Wow. Wow. We want to say thank you for coming to see us. Are you enjoying New York, by the way? Oh, my goodness. Yes. Are you? This have you done anything? Time. Oh, cool. Yeah. We'll have to go do a little sightseeing after yes, this. Yes, you have so We hope you enjoy it. You guys raised an awesome daughter. You sure did. And and your Thank parents you. raised awesome daughters, yes. too. You guys are amazing. Thank you guys Thank all so you. much. We really appreciate it.